Well, one of the things we try and do is think about value and like how much stuff is worth. Do you know what I mean? Like how much money is something worth? It's really tricky. It's actually it's, it's really tricky, isn't it? And in shops they just put a label on. But this, look, this is actually like a really good piece of kit that has got a place for batteries and everything. So, are you doing it? Are you getting this? Wicked. I, 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 look, look, look. It is a teddy bear, but it's got, look, that normally is music. So, twin, I reckon it's worth a bit more than 20p. But you can, if you want to do it for 20p, fine. But do you remember. Do you, no, 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 I don't want you to not have it. What, what are the, um, do you remember the two rules about the free shop, about the exchange? Do you remember what they are? Because if you follow them, then it's cool. Yeah? The one, the one rule is no, that we're not allowed to ask any questions. Yeah? So we shouldn't really be talking about how much it is anyway. And the other rule, the second rule, is that um, it's not allowed to become rubbish once you're done with it. Yeah? Where'd you find this? On the floor. <gasps> That's a pound. No, it's not. I'm joking. You can have that one for free. Yeah? Do you want it? No. Yeah? Is it yours? It's mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I dropped it on the floor by accident. Yeah, okay, cool. I gave it to my friend and she just dropped it on the floor. Take it. It's Thank yours. You. That's, what it, that's kind of what we're here for as well. A bit of lost, you know, gentle lost property. <laughs> Do you want the teddy bear? Uh, That's Pur purpose currently unknown. <laughs> purpose currently unknown. Plenty of potential. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, this is a good example. Marcus from the who's doing the farm with food here has just bought me this as a present. <laughs> Seemingly like a piece of rubbish, okay, but not at all a piece of rubbish. Uh -huh. We um, like for me, like we we use it to try to make stuff out of. Yeah, like whatever, you know. Lots of um, a little flower. You could make a little flower, perhaps. My scissors have just gone, but you could make you could make whatever you wanted. But anyway. <laughs> so what's the philosophy behind? It? Yeah. So the philosophy behind it is well, what we're trying to get people to do on the surface is to think more about their waste and recycling, and it's kind of public engagement, creative, creatively engaging the public in issues of waste and recycling. Yeah. So using kind of art to get a message across saying loads of different messages. It's kind of cool. They're all related to waste within our mad, like, consumer, economically driven society where we have loads and loads of crazy possessions and loads and loads of waste. And so part one of the messages is saying, look at all this crap. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> like this, you know, ooh, like a plastic cup we found on the floor. Not, you know, not at all actually a piece, <laughs> not really a piece of crap at all. A really good cup that can be reused loads. Like more and more festivals are using these. We had some for the festival we did two weeks ago, um, and it cut. And we were managing the bins there, and it cut down on waste so much. So everything here kind of has a message. That's a really good cup. Wash it and use it forever. Or this is our business stamp. This one. This is our business stamp, and you let you do it like this. This was uh, at the crew. We did um, the Cloud Cookie Land okay, two weeks ago, and this was the crew wristband, this stamp. So everyone had this on their arm. It was wicked. Hold on. So rather than using a piece of paper for your business stamp, okay, just use a card. That's the code for the thing. Um, <laughs> use that. Use the stamp and ink, and you don't make any waste. Wee! No waste. Ooh, hoorah, hoorah, I don't. So, but for me, right, what I find really, really interesting is that my background in studies is yoga, philosophy, and, well, religious studies and philosophy, and then my kind of specialism is yoga philosophy. So all of the art project is in a way kind of inspired by my understanding of yoga philosophy, because um, yoga, yoga philosophy is like a way of understanding the universe, a way of understanding reality, and it's really, really interesting. It, it, the same as all the other kind of ways of understanding the reality, like talking about chi, or talking about father in heaven with Christianity or whatever it is but yoga philosophy has a certain way that I think is kind of um, easier to understand or whatever and so all the art projects are sort of inspired by yoga philosophy like um, using the three levels of action they have in yoga the idea that we have three levels of action 
thought, the level of thought, the level of language, and the level of action of doing in the world. And these kids have just come to the shop. That's <laughs> yeah, cool. And the, yeah, yeah, the most, the most. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's, yeah, a, yeah, that's a kazoo. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this tray gets summoned. So, the, well, mate, what would. What we're doing with stuff that we really love, like that, is we're saying you can have it at the end, like you can have it on Sunday afternoon, yeah, if you come back. But yeah, now we sort of want it, we kind of want it on display. That guy didn't actually pay for this stuff. <gasps> Why didn't we free Guys, guys, can, I do, can you do me a favour? What's your name again? Baron. Baron. You understand, I think you particularly understand this stuff really well, yeah? So Baron, look, we're trying to make Baron. Listen up, mate. Baron. Just Are you just working here and you're We're stuck. trying to make a little film explaining all this stuff. So do you want to do, like while we've got the camera, do you want to try and see if you can explain a little bit into the camera? Baron, no? I okay. can explain a little bit of the camera. Yeah, go on. Can you explain what, what this is about? Oh. Talk about, hey, here's a really good one. What's your name? What's your name? Faye. Faye, talk about money and value. Okay? Because you know we were talking about that, how money's a bit weird. Yeah? Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah? Tell me how much you paid for them and... Stuff, yeah? No, 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 no. Oh, come on, oh, no, fair. You're gonna be so good. Okay, whatever you want to talk about, whatever you want to talk about, just tell, explain like instructions okay. on how to do it. I want to talk about. I want to go in there. Yeah. And then what do you do when you're in here? Uh, play um Dalmatian. Huh? You can you can buy a little Dalmatian. Because when you do something, yeah, you put a tattoo, and they like, do something by accident. <laughs> Um, you like, um, they actually do something with accent, like you put 20 in and then you Why is the heck is somebody going to buy no, no. Actually, you can also tell jokes. How is that? Yeah, yeah, like we do, we do exchanges for stuff That's like jokes. That's why I don't, I, I don't know jokes for this one. Why? You got a whole wallet for a joke. And That's brilliant. this game. Yes, mate. What is the game? Um, Bionics. Bionics. Lego Bionics. Lego Bionics. Mm. Sick. Have you got a, a game player thing? Yeah, game player thing. thing. Okay. I have got a. Wine, so mate, what's it called? Mate, what's it called? What's that called when you swap stuff? When you do, what's it called? The um, a ex exchange. 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 Yeah, exchange. You're just exchanging stuff. Whoa. Oh. Careful. Where's that's the little guy? Thing. No, that didn't cut me. Oh, oh, yeah. oh right, you want to make it? Wait, wait, that, no, he... I could probably, I could pr talk about upcycle phrases. Um, so I get to the really interesting part, the really fun part is that in a few months, like probably November, we're going to try and publish a book called Ring Pull on a Piece of String, okay? Um, and it's going to be a book about loads of cool stuff. It's going to be kind of written about the perennial philosophy, which Aldous Huxley writes about, which is like, um, what are the underlying similarities between all the different worlds, different religious and mystical traditions, and what's like the truth amongst them. It's really cool, because the project is kind of based on that sort of philosophy, that kind of thinking. Um, and the book is going to be wicked. It's going to be about, it's going to be a brief look at like the madness of the world that we live in today, and just, just how crazy all the sort of exponential curves like population, economic growth, environmental destruction, whatever they are, like greenhouse gases, whatever, they're all like exponentially and we're kind of here. So it's like saying this is a really crazy time to live and like a really important time to do something about it. And then it's going to be a book about saying look at all these cool things you can do, like beekeeping or like craft workshop or making your own clothes or whatever they are. Um, and and that they're not like weird alternative hippie options at all. They're not even the alternative anymore. They're like an absolute necessity that everybody gets onto it pretty quickly. And they're also not like a kind of um, <laughs> they're also not a uh, a degrading. They're not a bad choice to make in your life. But it's good. It's, no, no it's, it's supposed to be there, but not for taking. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is going to be aimed at like 16 to 25 year old people who can make uh, like old enough and young enough. Are you allowed to swap stones? Yes, mate, yeah, yeah, of course you can. Ah, yes! <laughs> but there's millions of them! <laughs> no, there are millions of them. <laughs> he's yeah. a businessman, he's a businessman. Mate, the thing is, mate, you've got, to, you've got to only swap stone for something that's of equal value. More or less. Yeah. So not yeah, stone for a crystal, really. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the exchange in action. The kids intuitively get the exchange really well. It's really, really cool. They, they don't have the concept of money, really, or shopping, or freedom. They just do whatever. It's really cool. <laughs>
So the book is good. <laughs> big stone. A big stone. <laughs> yes, mate, definitely. That's a good one. Knock, knock. Uh, my, actually, mate, you knock, have knock. found that's not a piece of stone. I think it's a piece of plastic. Let me hold it a second. Oh, no. It's a stone. Whoa, no, it's not a stone. I think it's a piece of metal, mate. Look at this. Can you see how it's bendy? Can you bend that there? Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's lead. I think it's lead. Anyway, I'll definitely have that if you want. <laughs> uh, give me a second. Yes, you can. Okay, but give me a second. <laughs> he wants to swap for the crystal, which I said was not right, but I just found a piece of lead. It's worth it, I think. <laughs> so, so 16 to 25 year olds who are kind of old enough and young enough to make independent choices about the type of lifestyles they want to lead. And the book is going to give examples of cool stuff. Mate, hold on a sec. The book is going to give cool... I can say that in a little bit of a rude way because I'm a secondary school teacher, so I know how to deal with the kids. <laughs> bossy, I don't know. But a little bit bossy, yeah. <laughs> what did I say? And what did I say? Give me two minutes, okay? And when you go home, you speak like that to your yeah. girlfriend. Mr. Hardy, so it's easy, yeah. <laughs> Right, so, so, sorry, so, so just to finish, the book is going to say what a mad place we live in, here are loads of cool options and here is the philosophical, political thinking underneath those cool options and, this, and that's what makes them really powerful, not just like weird alternative options, actually options that have like a much, much better lifestyle included with them, much better career opportunities, much better economic opportunities, you know, really like um, the good choices to make, going woofing for six months after university. You learn how to look after yourself, build a hob oven, beekeep, travel sustainably by bicycle or by car or whatever it is. You, you learn stuff so fast and, they, and, and um, it's really powerful learning because it's going to really help build like a new world that is literally here right now, we just don't see it, but it's absolutely here now, it's really mad. Um, so yeah, anyway, the book's called Bring Pull and Piece of String, come by the book, woo! Or just give a donation. <laughs> and your name is? My name's Chris. Yeah, Chris. From Upcycle. Upcycle. Yeah, it's Upcycle, the name of the project is called Upcycle. It's Chris from Upcycle, but it doesn't really, I feel, I don't, you know, it's my kind of face there, but I kind of put that behind it, because it's really more about like the impact that Upcycle ends up having. But there's a website, up-cycle.org.uk, and everything's on there, and there's even a little tab about a ring pool. It's called Ring Pool, I think, and then it explains the book and how we're going to try and crowdfund it. So if you want to have a book for free when it's published, you have to give us like a pound donation now <laughs> and just trust us that we'll do it, and we will. And then you can have a book for free and come to the launch. And also the ticket for the launch, this is a good one, probably shouldn't say this on film, the ticket for a launch is a ring pull on a piece of string. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <How> crazy! <laughs>